All right, guys, how to not ruin. By the way, I have a playlist of how to ruin on my channel. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out. How to play Gemini X Isabel or Gemini XX or XX Killer? No, but like Gemini Kabila, Gemini Esha, Gemini Esha, Isabel. What are other damage dealers other than Isabel that are really, really good? I think like the Wind Assassin can work depending if there's no fire on the defense and a Triana, but usually it's all light and dark like Siri, Esha, Truffle, um, Light Expresso Cookie, uh, Emily and stuff like that. So at the current meta, like you can use it. Um, what's the Wind one's name? I think it's uh, Tina, Tiana? No, not Tiana. Where is she? Where is she? I got to find out her name. Tanya. I remembered before I clicked her name. I remembered before I clicked her name. <laughs> um, and yeah, but this, the Hall of Heroes Gemini, Hall of Heroes Isabel, Kabila and Esha are not Hall of Heroes, but they were, you, you were able to get them in an event. So if you don't have them, I'm very sorry, but this is for the people that do have a Kabila or have an Esha. Um, and we're going to talk about how this offense works. Um, first things first, let me check out my Gemini. He should be... Oh, he shouldn't be on... Oh, okay. I'll put him on crit damage. Here. So we're playing on my ult. And the reason I'm doing this on my ult is because this is like an eight-month account. And that anyone can get to this stage very, very easily with just some commitment. If you want to get there, you want to farm some giants. You want to farm etc etc but there we go 247 day account 240 days i've had it okay i've had the account for 240 days so what the way this works is like you got gemini right so gemini has got the speed leads and the gemini has got the passive that removes one beneficial effects and and then skill two is an aoe defense break okay so he's used for the speed lead the one one beneficial effect strip and the defense aoe break okay so don't ruin him like this this is wrong okay the way you want to ruin him is honestly the best way to ruin him it would be it would be like um how fast is this 26 oh i think i used that because it's very fast you want to ruin him speed attack accuracy because his job is the only thing he needs to do is move which is speed attack to break shield and accuracy to land the defense break okay so if you attack an enemy with shield and will and you don't have enough attack power there's a chance that the shield will get stripped and the will will remain so if you build him on like speed attack don't worry about crit rate don't worry about anything speed crit rate uh speed attack and accuracy that way with the attack you can break the shield then apply the strip which is the only one beneficial effect left which is the will and then you apply the AOE defense break with the accuracy on slot six, okay? You need to put him on a despair set if possible, if not anything that's f faster than the damage dealer, okay? And the faster, the better, okay? So this is mine currently. Um, I don't know if I can go faster. I ruined this up a few months ago when I got the, when I started playing the account and farmed up my, re like when I built this team. And then for the second unit, you can, the most preferable units is like Esha, and Kabila. Okay, keep in mind with Esha, he has a 115 base speed, but his attack by increase is only by 15%, but it does give you a speed buff of two turns, okay, which is um which is 30%, right? But it's not an attack by increase. So you increase by 15% of your attack bar, but you get a speed buff, which can be beneficial, but yeah, that's that. So you can use Esha or you can use Kabila. If you're thinking you're gonna get outsped, you can use Kabila. The Kabila does have a 30, does have a high base speed and has a 30% attack by increase, but there is no speed buff. But Kabila can be better to speed contest also because of the high base speed and the attack by increase. And the Esha can have a speed buff, which is also can be beneficial for speed increasing effects which is very minor, so it's not a big deal. But if you're confident about your speed, you can go with the Esha, could be better off. But Kabila is a bit more risky. Um, so in this case, we're going to go with Kabila. All right, and the Neo Damage Dealer. Damage, damage dealer. You want an AOE Damage Dealer or a single... Like, Isabel was a Hall of Heroes, right? Many times. She's got a really, really good skill 2 and skill 3. Skill 2 is this crit rate buff, so you only need 70% crit rate. 
and then uh attack power buff that means you can uh, compensate the attack power buff with speed slot two so it's like having speed crit damage attack and then you get an attack buff so it gives you more attack because you're ready you need to be really really fast to go in okay and then skill three deals damage and recovers a turn if an enemy dies so if you're killing the, an enemy you get another turn and then most times if it's a Miang on defense you kill the Esha for example or Tetra or whatever it is and then most times with skill one Miang is built on high attack you can kill Miang with skill one but it comes in really really I use this if you see, watch my channel you've seen me use this multiple times um if there's other third unit alternatives let me know down in the comments this is a like a guide of how to use it so here we're using Tanya okay now you need to be speed tuned, okay? You need to be speed tuned to Kabila's 30% attack by increase. So now you want to test the speed tuning. So you set the same defense up as the offense. So now I've set the same defense as the offense, okay? Um, so now I go in. If Kabila moves and then Gemini moves and Isabel moves, it means I am speed tuned, okay? So let me show you an example. So here I am. Kabila moves. Okay, and then Gemini is speed tuned to Kabila's 30% attack by increase. So Gemini goes in with the AoE strip and defense break and a stun possibly. And there you go. You saw Kabila move. She got stunned, but she did move. That means my Isabel is not speed tuned to the speed that I am. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that my Kabila is one too fast or my Isabel is too, too slow. Okay, so the way to... So the way to fix this is one, slow down your Kabila or make it Isabel faster. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say that keep in mind. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Keep in mind the faster your unit is, the attack by increase unit. If this was like a 220 Esha, the faster your um, Gemini needs to be, the faster your Isabel needs to be. If you're if, if this is 211, if it was 210, if this was 210, I would probably not get cut because we speed she's slower she increases attack bar and everything is good okay so what i need to do here is i need to I, I ruined her up months ago so i'm gonna fix her up i'm gonna make it a little bit faster and go from there and see if i'm sp still speed tuned okay two thousand years later all right i don't know if i cut that completely or fast forward it so <laughs> but so i didn't change kabila kabila is still the same speed we saw that kabila got stunned but she did take a turn after kabila moved gemini moved and then isabel was cut okay so kabila has remained the same speed i gave tanya about six more speeds i kept her at 70 percent minimum crit rate because we get the crit rate buff i kept the same runes i oh no i changed this rune um but i've I've kept the same stats. I'm about six speeds uh, faster. Then what happened was my Gemini was slower. So I went and changed Gemini's runes. And Gemini happened to be... Gemini happened to be um, getting a nice upgrade. Because I haven't changed his runes in a long time. Trust me, speed, attack, accuracy is the best way to build him. I just happened to have a very fast crit damage despair slot that I needed to make. So I've made it work out like this. By the way, my Isabel is not skilled up, okay? Because I don't have skill ups and I have a second one. That's why I don't have skill ups. Because the second one still just works as good without skill ups. So now, do we get cut that I've increased their speed? I've kept the Kabila speeds. Do we get cut? Boom. We don't get cut, right? We do not get cut. And then the damage comes out. It's very, very good. Boom, 43k and then um, 35k with skill one. So it's really, really good. And, and I can... I can prove that to you by like showing you like over here. Like these are my defenses. Can I outspeed a Miang Mie and Adriana? Yep, I can outspeed a Miang and Adriana. AOE strip? Yep, lands the strip. Do I get cut by the Adriana? No, I do not. Okay, and then boom. We kill Adriana. And then we kill Miang with skill one because she's on high attack. And then defense break. And then this guy crits. And <laughs> things are just crazy, okay? And then... And then boom again defense break he does nothing he steals that gemini strips it and then we kill him okay now let's try that on my riley and nasha which is my best defense so right here we got a tessarion we got a riley and we got a nasha uh, we got a res leads uh we got sh wheel no shields 
Okay, we go for the AOE defense break. Boom. Lands on everyone. It's, it's not that bad. Okay, Riley would be the tankiest, but Tessarian has damage reduction. Who should we hit? I think we should hit Riley. Let's see what it does. 46k, it kills it. All right. And then now we can dismount Nasha. Okay. And now we lose. Okay. Now we lose. But defense break. <laughs> And then kill. No kill. Okay, now I should chill. Kill her. Okay, Tessarion versus everyone else, okay? And this is why I put these guys on like um, some damage. Just so we can deal with this kind of sort of stuff. There's no point doing defense break because she's going to move. <gasps> she didn't move. I should have done the defense break. Okay. And then boom. And then multiple hits. And then, you know, we still win. And we still win, I think. Wait, wait, unless he procs. Now, let's try hitting Tessa and see if we can one-shot it, okay? Boom. Boom. We didn't get the defense break on Tessa, so let's try that again. This would still work out because we'd play it the same scenario we just did in the, the fight before. We kill Riley, dismount Nasha. Okay, we landed on Tessarian. Tessarian has damage reduction. I just want to see if I can kill it. Boom, 29k. It does less damage, but it was able to kill it. Does really good damage on Riley there. And uh, I'll see you later, Isabel. We're not using this on Nat 5s, but you can use it. It is work. It works. It's amazing. You can use Escher instead of... Um, you can use Escher instead of Kabila. And then the Escher gives you a speed buff. So you can just go boom. Throw the Kabila runes there. And then yeah so Asha attack by increases aoe defense break and then isabel comes in we kill roid he's on full hp is it gonna kill him 51k kills him and then kuman doesn't kill him that is it for this video okay i did this video because it's free room removal if anyone's new to the game wants to know sees me use this offense checks it out etc etc this is how it's used okay so i hope you like it so the last one i think i did did i do the parline video but if you want i can make the leo feng yang offense video for siege and we did this one i think there's a parline video i haven't made or i have made i can't remember but that is it let me know down in the comments your thoughts what you think third damage dealer who can who else can it be can it be a truffle i don't know i don't know but that's it thanks for watching yellow bye